This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now, where we bring you the three E's, educate, empower, and engage. I'm your host, Harvey Blankfeld, along with our co-host, Shelly Brown, and we've been selling homes here in Southern Nevada since 1988. Shelly and I are also very proud to be part of the Real Estate Radio Network. That is a national network of local real estate professionals delivering timely, balanced truths about local market conditions. And with us in studio right now, we have Bill Nelson, and he's been a shareholder with Piercy, Bowler, Taylor and Kern for the last 16 years. One of the things I want to talk to you about is, is that what changes we might anticipate, because every year I know that there's things that change in tax code, and I know that there's some things that are kind of left open-ended. And we, we've experienced this in real estate recently, but I know there's a lot of stuff out there. We're not really sure what's going to happen next year. Right. Right now, there are 51 provisions open right now. 51? 51, 51 tax provisions wow. that are open that could change, that could be... Um, re-implemented or could just uh, be Stop. be left off the wow. table. Right. Uh, what, what's the most interesting of those? Tell me where we go with The those. most interesting one, I think, has to do with depreciation. Okay. Now, f- for um, for businesses that, that depreciate assets, um, there's a, a, a section where taxpayer may take up to $25,000 and expense that amount mm-hmm. in the year that the asset's purchased. Uh, and there's certain qualifications that must be reached. If the law is reenacted for 179 deduction that we think may be, um, you can take up to, instead of just the $25,000 limit, you can take up to $200,000 oh the first year. So it, would that mean the whole asset if it was less than $200,000? i am sorry, it's $500,000. $500,000. $500,000. So right, it'd be the whole asset. Uh, the IRS code defines, um, has definitions for years, how many years you can depreciate certain assets. Um, equipment would be five, five-year assets. Furniture and fixtures. Like right. um, like your desks and things like that. So I like at home. Seven when, years, I like at home years. when we uh, when we take our sales tax off of our 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 income to calculate our taxes. You're talking about a business that buys something that costs two hundred fifty thousand dollars or whatever. Right. They can't just write the whole thing off normally. Correct. But now with the new, ex- new the new law, they the, may the, be able to the, do that. The, the law that may pass. Okay. Right. So the the IRS says what is a five year asset? Right. They define, they define them. They they define okay. it. Um, a few other things that, to keep your eye on is um, if your business has a payroll service, or if you don't have a payroll service, it's a really good time to go look for one because the Affordable Care Act, uh-huh. um, the AKA Obamacare, right. um, uh, the, the steep steep penalties are going to affect now. So you're... Okay. Um, so you want to make sure you're doing everything yeah. right. And, yeah, and, and and the, but there's a certain number of employees you have to have before that's implemented, right? Isn't it like, I think it's like a, at least... 20 employees or something like correct, that. Correct, correct. Yeah. And um, and so if if you do have a payroll if if you do have payroll if you, if you have a payroll service they'll they, they know really how to need, do it. They need they they know how to do it. So what about it in Nevada here? We've got the uh, commerce tax and uh, what's going on? Right. With we talked we talked a lot about the commerce tax when we did our uh, our remote right. at Crave a few weeks ago. We talked a lot about that and um, that's a, a gross a gross profits tax. It's um, if uh, if a company makes a certain amount of revenue has a certain amount of revenue. It doesn't matter what their net income is, but right. if revenues are over a certain threshold, then they have to pay a tax. Right. But um, we also mentioned that um, 50% of that tax can offset your modified business tax. Right. Something about modified business tax, that percent went up Okay. Um, effective July 1st. It was 1.175%. Right. And, and the exemption was $85,000. Right. Now, the exemption's gone down. Oh, to fifty thousand. Okay, and the percentage has gone up to one point four seven five. So wait, so it was eighty five. Now it's fifty. It, yeah. So it actually went down. It went down. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Got it. Right. Okay. So um, so we get we get it to deduct more, but right. then the tax goes up. Gotcha. So mm. so. And if this all sounds like gobbledygook, call Bill. You've been listening to Las Vegas Real Estate Now with hosts Harvey Blankfeld and Shelley Brown. Please tune in every Saturday at 11 a.m. right here on News Talk 720 KDWN.